Okay, so first things first, firstly you need to install git on your machine. Typically if you are on Mac or if you are on Linux then git comes pre-installed but if you are on Windows or something else then you need to download git. And the installation of git is super simple. Like any Tom, Dick and Harry can do it. So you just need to go to this website that is the git-scm.com and then you need to click on this downloads tab here. And then it will show you the options to download that is if you are on Mac or on Windows or on Linux. But since I am on Mac, so I don't need to download it. So let's go to our terminal here and to verify that if git is installed, let's check git hyphen hyphen version that is which version I am running. So we see that we are on version this that is 2.2.21.1 and this is the Apple git thing here and it comes pre-installed with the Mac OS here. So I do not need to install it. But in case if you want, you can go to the download section and you can install it. It's, it's pretty simple to do that and you simply have to click next, next, next and turn. So let's go back to our terminal. So the first thing which you want to do after installing it is set your name and email so that they should be visible on each of your commit messages. So for that, you can do it globally. So we can do that very easily. That is git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name would be something like this. I am not going to press enter because I have my name already or let me change my name again. So let's say truly method like this. And then similarly, what you need to do, you need to set your email here. So get config hyphen hyphen global user dot email would be something uh, like this thing here. And don't try to email me on this email because I won't be responding to any emails here. So let's set it like this. And there is another way to set this username and email project wise and that I will be showing it to you later. So firstly, let's see that how do we initialize a git repository. So currently I'm in the home directory as we can see. So like if I pwd, I'm in the home directory. So what I want to do, I want to create a new project or I want to start a new project uh, called YouTube tutorial. So what I can do, I have two options here. Either I can create a new directory and then initialize an empty git repository inside that or otherwise what I can do, I can simply do it like this. That is git init git tutorial like this. And what this will do, it will create a new directory called git tutorial inside my current working directory. And it will also initialize a new git repository inside that directory. So let's press enter mm -hmm. here. So we see that we have this directory created here and a new git repository is created there. So what we can do, we can go to this directory that is cd git tutorial and we see that we have this git repository initialized here. So if we ls here, we do not see anything but if we ls minus a, that is if we also see the hidden files, then we see that we have this git folder here. So if you are just curious that how I am getting this thing here, so for that I am using oh my zsh shell. So that is pretty simple to do again. So let's go here and let's search for oh my zsh. And this is the first link here. And I'll provide this link also in the description. And I suppose that you can use oh my zsh on Mac and on Linux. And I'm not sure about Windows, you can check it. So you can go here and you can see how to install it. And this tutorial is not about installing oh my zsh. So I'm not going to tell you that, but it is pretty simple to do. So let's go back to our terminal here. So now let's see another way of initializing a git repository. So first let me get out of this directory and now let me create a new directory. So let's this time create a new directory called tutorial uh, git like this. And let's cd into that directory that is tutorial git. And if we ls minus a there is nothing inside this directory and there is no git repository. And now if you want to initialize a new git repository inside a directory or a project which you already have firstly you need to cd into that directory and then you simply need to do git init just like that you do not want to do anything else you simply do git init and we see that we have a new git repository initialized in this directory that is tutorial underscore git and if we do ls minus a we see that we have this directory here that is git so now let's talk about this config thing here. That is globally we have set our username to trulymethyl and user.email to trulymethyl at gmail.com and it is for global use here. That is if you do not provide a username and user email 
on any of your repository, then this would be taken by default. That is this username and this email. But now let's say that in this tutorial git, I want to change my username and I want to change my email. So how we can do that? It is pretty simple to do. First, we can simply do it like this. That is git config user.name would be equal to something. So let not equal to it, but it should be in quotes. So some name or let's say uh, yours truly like this and then get config user dot email would be like uh, yours truly 2607 at gmail.com like this. And now let's press enter. And if we ls minus a, we have this directory called dot get and it's a hidden directory. So let's see it into that directory. And now let's ls and let's uh, list the contents of this config file here that we have inside this get folder dot get folder. But uh, beware that you should never touch this get folder. It is for internal purposes and for advanced usages. So since you are a beginner or if you are a beginner, then you should never touch this dot get folder. And it is only for demonstration purposes that I am showing you this. And if we list the contents of this config file, we see that for this git repository, that is tutorial underscore git git, we have this user here that is name yours truly and email yours truly 2607 at gmail.com. So now let's switch back to the previous directory that we initialized our git repository and that directory was called, I suppose, git tutorial. So let's change to that directory. So cd, uh, let's go to the root directory and cd git tutorial. Let's cd into the git folder inside this directory. And now let's list the contents of the config file here. And here we see that we do not see that object here or that uh, user object here. That is the name and email thing here. As we can see in this thing here, that is in this directory. We have this user uh, thing here and we have the name and email here, but here we do not see that. And that is because if you're not setting a name and email for an individual project, then the default name and email would be taken from your global configuration. And that global configuration is this global configuration. So let me so show it to you. And that is this global configuration. That is the name would be truly metal and the email would be truly metal at gmail.com for all your repositories. So this is how you initialize a new Git repository inside your project.